Hello, and welcome back to the Miss Pittsburgh TV Showcase. This is a special edition of the showcase. I'm Michelle J. Gaines. I'm your host for the evening. And this is a really, really, really special, special kind of show. The last time we were with you, we interviewed Nicole Bozeman, who was about to uh, embark upon a journey that she had no idea what, where it would take her. She knew that she was, if, if things turned out the way she wanted them to or the way she had prepared them to turn out, she would be off into a world that, um, well, I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna give the secret away. I'm going to let her be the one to tell you exactly what happened. So welcome with me tonight Miss Nicole Bozeman, who has just been crowned Miss Elite Global Earth USA 2016. Nicole, Hi. we are so happy and so proud oh <laughs> to Thank have you, you so back much. on the show. That you know, was amazing. <laughs> I know. Before <laughs> Nicole began this journey, she came onto the show mm -hmm. about a month or so ago and talked about how she had been preparing and what she was hoping to accomplish. And uh, she was excited. I believe she was in a countdown situation yes. and telling everyone how uh, at the top of September she was going to be leaving for Texas yes. to compete in this national competition, competing against women from different uh, sectors of the mm -hmm. of the United States yes different walks of life some professional some not professional and so forth so you know she just jumped into that mix and she brought us back us Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania she brought us back a national title <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's, so excited. I think I'm more excited than she is. I but was no. speechless. It's what an amazing, amazing experience. A beautiful weekend. I'm just on cloud nine still. I have not come down yet. Well, and you probably won't no, for a long, long time to. to come. <laughs> but, you know, when I think about uh, pageants and competitions, as you know, we've yes. been involved in pageantry for some 18, 19 years. Well, you know. <laughs> but this particular pageant, there are lots of pageants in and around our country. Why this particular pageant? 
This particular pageant, uh, I was introduced to it by a fellow friend of ours, uh, Kamika Boast. Oh, Kamika. Who okay. we've known for a very long time and, mm -hmm. and watched her compete. And mm -hmm. um, I remember, you know, inboxing her one time on Facebook, and I said, "Hey, Kamika, you know, I'm really thinking about getting back into pageantry again and mm -hmm. competing again. And what do you think? What's out here? Because I had lost connection with the industry. Mm -hmm. And um, she told me about Elite Global and told me about mm -hmm. Angela Pollard and mm -hmm. the director. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, "You should really, you know." Check them out, and I said, okay. She had met Angela at a previous competition, the international pageant system, and mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I, I don't know if they competed against each other, but she met her there, mm -hmm. and um, we began to talk. And so what I did is I, you know, if, uh, friended Angela on Facebook and began to talk to her. And I said, hey, look, I heard a lot about your pageant system. Can you give me some information, a link to your website, so I can mm -hmm. check it out and see what mm -hmm. it's all about? Mm -hmm. And when I went to look at it, I just in my heart of hearts, I felt this connection to it. I felt okay. like it was a really um, beautiful system. And, you know, it was one where her vision and her desire was to bring back the sisterhood of pageantry again. Oh. And I thought okay. that was very um, admirable mm -hmm. of her because, you know, there are a thousand pageant systems out here. You yes. know, like I know. <laughs> yes. um, and some yes. of them are good and some of them aren't. Mm. And when you feel that bond or that connection with, you know, a system or organization, it just felt right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I went mm -hmm. for it. I, you know, researched mm -hmm. it. I found out where it was, and you know, the cost was not bad at all. You know, for the entry fee and everything like that. And I just did what I needed to do. And, and I'm glad that I are. did. Well, <laughs> I, right. And I know a lot of times when you're introduced to something new, mm -hmm. something different. And as you said, you met Angela. You you friended her yes. on. Facebook and then you began to have conversation and you got a good vibe from her. Right. And a lot of times it starts out that way. Absolutely. Did it end that way? It absolutely <laughs> ended that did way. The, did the journey from beginning to end with, because pageant directors are important. Yes. Okay. They're the reason why your attitude grows mm -hmm. or your development starts to to uplift, yes, if you will. Absolutely. Um, so the, you got a chance to really know her as a person. As a person, I did, and that was the most important thing because if I didn't have a connection with her, right. then if I was to win, mm -hmm. then what would my relationship be with her as my director? Exactly. And so I wanted to make sure that first and foremost, we were able to bond as sisters and friends outside of the system mm -hmm. um, so that I knew when I got into the system, mm -hmm. it would it would just flow naturally and real mm -hmm. smoothly. And that's exactly what happened. I'm so excited. Well, she sounds like a really wonderful person. She I'm is. looking forward to, if not meeting her, maybe talking with her. Uh, connecting one Absolutely. director as another, just Absolutely. connecting and saying, you know, I heard some really good things about your system, Absolutely. you know, and so forth. So, so you entered this pageant, mm -hmm. and I know that you had, you know, I'm not going to ask the obvious questions like, <laughs> what did you want to do, and 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 so forth. You wanted to win, and I did. obviously you won. I did. However, in winning, there is there are other accomplishments. Mm -hmm. What, what were they for you? Why, why were those accomplishments as important, if not more important, than winning the crown? There were two, two uh, titles, or well, two awards that I wanted. I okay. wanted interview and I wanted fitness. Okay. And you know, you and I had talked about that. Yes. And it was very important for me to be able to get interview in particular mm -hmm. because I felt like my voice was being heard. I felt like that my message was being clear, that they understood what I wanted, who I was. I was able to present myself mm -hmm. in a manner that um, intrigued them and that mm -hmm. wanted them, and they, to the point that they wanted to see more of me when I got on stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as a judge myself, you know, whenever I judge competitions, when you capture my attention in the interview portion of it, mm -hmm. I'm always looking for you then on stage to see what you bring then onto the stage. Okay. And so it was important to me to really capture that again because I wanted to make sure that that what I had to say, I was saying in a manner that made them pay attention to me. And okay. that's exactly what happened. And that's what happened. So give us a, a tidbit of the interview. What, just a couple of questions. What were, what were you asked? Well, the first question was, why did I want to do the system? Okay. Why was I there, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at that particular system? And of course, I answered, you know, accordingly, mm -hmm. the same as I just said here. Mm -hmm. My second question was, 
This is a political year, and what it, one issue do you think the incoming president should focus on? And my and I was you said a for raise one. for me. No. Well, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what I did say, I thought about that. Okay. But what I did say was, you know, there are so many issues that our incoming president is going to have to deal with. Mm -hmm. But my concern is that you deal with home first. Don't forget about us. Don't forget mm -hmm. about the American people who put you into that office. Mm -hmm. Don't neglect our needs and and what we require as a nation. Mm -hmm. um, I, I understand that international relationships are very important for our country mm -hmm. and our government, mm -hmm. but you're neglecting us. Mm -hmm. And so take mm -hmm. care of home first. Right. And I, then I told her, I said, if I have to choose one particular thing, please and thank you, do something with health care. Please, thank you. And that's exactly how I said it too. And she just kind of looked at me. And she was like, "Yeah, I agree." So, that's so funny. you know, I, I have a, I have a, uh, that laugh was, <laughs> it's because I know where she's going, where she's yeah. going with that, yeah. with healthcare. Yeah, but we so, won't go, we won't yeah, get we into won't go that. There. Right. We'll yeah. But it was an issue, and you know, so I think that that kind of lightened everything up. Mm -hmm. My next question was. If I was to win the title, mm -hmm. what would I bring to the title and to the organization? Well, of mm -hmm. course, I had to talk about Crystals, Diamonds, and Pearls. Of course. And I <laughs> let them know that I started this organization called Crystals, Diamonds, and Pearls, which is a, it, it's, a it's not even an organization. I call it my sisterhood tribe. Mm -hmm. Because what I wanted to do is well, I wanted to create a, a group of women uh, or just a, a group of us that will create this space where we can heal and, mm -hmm. and be whole, made whole again and feel safe to come into our true identity and to manifest in our truth, mm -hmm. uh, to manifest in who we really are and not feel like we have to ask permission to become and to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I define, I describe to them, you know, my desires and vision for Crystals, Diamonds and Pearls. And the organization, Elite Global Earth Pageant System, is sponsored or sponsoring an organization called Live Out Loud. Mm -hmm. which is a nonprofit organization that deals with bullying in schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I let the judges know that I would take crystals, diamonds, and pearls and merge it with Live Out Loud because what my desire is is to make sure that women know that they are beautiful, that they are crystals, diamonds, and pearls. Mm -hmm. They're worthy to be valued, mm -hmm. to be loved, to be appreciated, and the voice is, it, and what they have in their message and their voice is worthy to be heard. Mm -hmm. And I told them, I said, you know, for the one that's being bullied, to remind them that they're beautiful mm -hmm. and that they are so worthy to be in love. And mm -hmm. to the one that's doing the bullying, mm -hmm. you too are worthy of being loved. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to bully to be present. To be present. Mm -hmm. And so good. that was the answer to that question. Okay. My last question was, and this is my favorite. <laughs> so my last question was, if um, what one woman in the United States inspired me and why? Mm -hmm. Well, I said Michelle Obama. And mm -hmm. then I said, and not for the typical reason, because she made history as the first African-American woman to sit in the office you know, with her husband. Right. I said, I want to know, how does she take care of her daughters under the scrutiny Mm. And in and, and the eye of the public, right. how does she keep them rooted and grounded? Yeah. How does she keep them centered yeah. and focused as mm. a mother? Kept that all that craziness that took place away from them so that now you have one going off to college mm -hmm. and one that's doing very well in school. Right. And so I looked at the judge and I said, I want to know as a mom, how does she do it? And by mm -hmm. the time I was done with them, they were sitting up in the seats like, yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> I was like, yes. I want to know how she did it. <laughs> you know, right, so yeah. by the time, it, you yeah. know, when you see the body language right. change, mm -hmm. and when they approach mm -hmm. like this, they're interested, and I right. knew at that point I had them. Yeah. They called yeah. time. I looked at them, I said, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking to you all. Enjoy your lunch, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. <laughs> and I walked off the room. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. So you only got the opportunity, was it a 10-minute interview? It was a five-minute interview. Oh, a five-minute interview. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I know that doesn't sound like a long time, but five minutes is a long time to speak. It's so a long time, but it's a short time too because well, then I don't have a lot of time to impress. That's true. And so five minutes, you know, five minutes of my time, I had to make sure I got everything out. That you I have wanted to get to your get point across. Exactly. Exactly. To, in, a, in, a, right. in a manner that by the time mm -hmm. they're done, mm -hmm. they're voting for me the interview winner. <laughs> that is the plaque that Nicole won that says interview winner. Yes, okay. So, so, so that, exciting That was stuff. great. great okay, stuff. so 
were these, I assume that these are seasoned judges for, yes. uh, uh, tell us about them. Tell well, us about the judges. Well, there were three judges okay. and one was a surprise judge. We didn't know who the third judge was going to be, so we okay. only knew about two. Okay. Well, the one, her name is D Dia Caldwell. Mm -hmm. She owns a, a modeling agency called Motor Bella Toe. Okay. It was the sponsor of the pageant. Okay. It's beautiful crystal trophy is what I got from her because I won the fun fashion segment. <laughs> And yeah. I've got a year's modeling contract with oh, her. So I'll wonderful. be traveling back and forth to Texas to do modeling assignments for her oh, uh, very wonderful. soon. So yeah. I'm waiting for all that information to come out. That's very exciting. Yes. Not only do you get to do modeling, but you can, you get to go, you get to fly back. Yes. And that's that's very special. It's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. Yeah. I cannot wait to do it. So does that all start taking place right away or is there a particular time period? There was a, well, um, I'm going to meet with her, uh, do a Skype call with her mm -hmm. next week. Okay. So we set that up. Okay. Just kind of need a time, just, you know, mm -hmm. she wanted me, okay, just breathe, relax, <laughs> enjoy this. Right. And then we'll get down to business. Right. So, yeah, probably within the next week or so, I'll be touching bases with her, signing my contract with her. Okay. And just going from there. So wow. I'm real excited about that. That is the fabulous. other judge was mm -hmm. Douglas O'Neill. Now Douglas mm -hmm. O'Neill mm -hmm. is a reigning title holder himself. Oh, really? Yes, okay. he competes on uh, with in male pageantry, so okay. he is a current title holder, mm -hmm. and he's getting ready to go for a international competition in Jamaica also mm -hmm. uh, next year. So I'm studying the judges, and this is one thing that any person that wants to compete in pageantry. This is mm -hmm. so vitally important. You have to study your judges. It's critical. Because I knew that Dia was an owner of a modeling um, company mm -hmm. and agency, mm -hmm. I knew that she was going to be looking for a model-esque type right. pageant right. queen, That's beauty right. queen. Right. I knew that, that Douglas, because he is a you know title holder, mm -hmm. again, he wasn't looking for that same old pageant Barbie that we call them, yeah. <laughs> a typical pageant girl, I knew that he wanted somebody that was high fashion also. Mm -hmm. So just going through the bi bios and understanding who they, who they were. were, I knew how to present myself. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That sounds like some advice somebody said at one time. <laughs> Yeah, somebody named Michelle Gaines once told me years yeah, ago about yeah. that. Yeah, you got to know who your judges are. You it is so critical. And I, I, I really do mm -hmm. believe that made the difference. Oh, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. Yes. Because it makes you feel like you know them. And all, mm -hmm. you, all you do when you walk into the interview room is you put a face with the name. Absolutely. And then the personality, the knowledge of them begins to show on you that right I already know who you are right you know, absolutely so absolutely as and opposed to that oh my goodness I didn't think you look like that right <laughs> yeah absolutely and yeah. the third judge was a uh, radio personality oh. local radio personality that was there okay so it, it was a really nice eclectic group of judges mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like I say you know I didn't know we didn't know the third one he was a surprise mm -hmm. but the radio judge the radio was, judge was, was a surprise. surprise okay um but you know again the interview went so smoothly but my focus was once I got through the interview. Once I saw them all sit up like that, I knew that I had them. Right. So then my next move was on Sunday, on the actual pageant day, I knew that I was going to really have to step up my game on stage mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. give them and present to them who I knew they were looking for. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what I did. So in competition, <clears throat> it's not just about preparing for the competition in mundane, routine, get up every morning, eat egg whites, go to the gym, right. come back, eat egg yellow. <laughs> maybe, maybe not, maybe. I don't know. Yes. Um, it's all about being able to read people as well. You have to be able to be sensitive mm -hmm. to what's going on around you. Absolutely. And how to command Absolutely. that space. So critical, so, so critical. critical. So, you were, okay, so you were telling us about, but before you get into Sunday, Okay, because I know that um, Sunday was. Oh. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> I don't know if we're amazing. if we're gonna get through this show on skate, but we'll try. We'll okay. Try. Um, so all of that, all of what we're just now talking about, you know, why does it matter? Who cares about all of this? It matters. You know what? This is something that you can apply in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. It matters when you go on a job interview. Mm -hmm. Because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, this interview was just that. It was mm -hmm. a job interview. interview. The job I was going for was to become the national 
title holder, right. but it was still a job interview nonetheless. Right. And so all of that is very important. You don't go to you know, a, a corporation or a law mm -hmm. firm looking to become a paralegal or an attorney with them and mm -hmm. you don't study the firm that you're trying mm -hmm. to get hired by. That's very because true. Because the first thing they're going to ask you is why do you want to work here or what do you know about my company? Exactly. So it's critical that even mm -hmm. when you're doing in corporate America and you're mm -hmm. preparing for an interview, it's no different in pageantry. Mm -hmm. it's, just mm -hmm. a, it's just a different organization, diff a different group of uh, situations, mm -hmm. but it's foundationally it's the same exact thing. Right. So it, it's very important to have that. So you're right, it's very important to have that. And I don't know, and I say this all the time, I don't know of another industry that helps you to learn these types of things and skills, that you, the, the kinds of things that you can take into any other walk of life and be successful. The corporate world, mm -hmm. Um, the sports world, yes. the entertainment world, yes. it doesn't matter. If you can't convince the people that you're sitting in front of to hire you, to put right. you there, absolutely, this is what trains you to do it. It's relational. Mm -hmm. It's all of it. You right. know, it's just in your day-to-day -day relationships with family and friends and right. loved ones. Yeah. It's the yeah. same thing. Yeah. It is being able to present yourself mm -hmm. in a manner mm -hmm. that they, un mm -hmm. they, they trust you. Mm -hmm. And that they mm -hmm. value what you have to say, and they mm -hmm. and they believe that you are who you say you are, and that you're genuine, and that you're really, mm -hmm. you really know who you say you are. Right. So it's exactly. so important. Right. I love it. It's just amazing. So I know Sunday was the day. Mm -hmm. Sunday was the day. But tell us what was the the highlight? Not just the crown going on your mm -hmm. head. I know that was the <laughs> you know, but. As far as the competition on Sunday was concerned, what was the highlight for you? The highlight was winning interview. Okay. I was more nervous about that interview award than I was about the crown. Is that right? I well, kid you not. When they was started to do the, the specialty awards mm -hmm, and they mm -hmm. said the 2016 interview winner is, I mean, I had more butterflies in my stomach <laughs> thinking like, please, please, please. So I said, I want to interview. Please, 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 please call me. Then they said, they pause because you know they got that the dramatic pause oh, I know, I know. Like, like I right. play some music or you hurry up and say somebody's name because my feet is hurt and I'm hungry and who right. won right and he said Miss Ms. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania I was like oh, are you kidding me <laughs> I kid, I kid you not. that's exactly what I said <laughs> Don't Could you repeat that, please? No, I did. I was like, I looked at him like, are you serious? And then I looked at the fellow contestants, and they're clapping and looking at me like, like yeah, yeah. And I was like, and then the um, one queen was coming out waiting to give me the plaque, and she's looking at me like, you want to come up here and take this? And I was like, okay. You know, so I was so, so excited. happy yeah. because I felt like That was an accomplishment. Me. Yeah, I that accomplished a major goal. Yeah. And you saw me mm -hmm. and you liked what you saw. Yeah. And yeah. that really made it, that, that, that was makes just really difference. blessed me, you know? So mm -hmm. it was like, oh, I got an interview, like, yes. And that's, <laughs> that's really important. You know, I'm really happy to know that you set individual goals yes. in addition to Absolutely. the goal of winning, which is something I try to tell young ladies all the time. Everybody wants to win the crown. Yes. You know, but there can only ever be one winner. So you have to set another goal, set a second goal, and a third goal if you need to. I, I wanna, I wanna um, maybe I don't walk down the runway so well, so I'm going to really focus on how to improve myself so that mm -hmm. that's gonna be the one thing that um, somebody says, you know what, you're the best at that now. Yes, absolutely, okay. absolutely. You, you, and it was important too because, again, when you go for the smaller goals, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it allowed me to then go for the bigger ones. Of course. Because right. I knew that if, right. I, if I won this and I won fitness, mm -hmm. I was 50% there. Right. And, right. But to clean sweep it like I did oh, was just... Oh, I know. I know. Um, so you started with interview. Yes. So when the show opened, it opened with a We had an opening number. number. Okay. Um, and it was really nice. It was to um, Uptown Funk. Okay. And so, yeah, so it was a cute little opening number. We introduced ourselves, we got off the stage, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. we went into, uh, what did we do first? Fun fashion. Okay. So it was yes. this outfit that mm -hmm. I have on today is what I wore in fun fashion. Okay. And right. I <laughs> could not wait. <laughs> Again, it is knowing your system. It's right. knowing what the director is looking for mm -hmm, and it's knowing mm -hmm. what the judges are looking, looking for. for. Right. And because when we were... Uh, 
preparing for this. Uh -huh. And, you know, we would ask questions of her, like, Angela, what is this, what's that? Uh -huh. Well, some of the contestants began to ask questions, like, well, what is fun fashion? What are you looking for? What, what kind of, you uh -huh. know, uh -huh. outfit should I get? Uh -huh. And her response was, think New York Fashion Week. Oh. <laughs> well, the only way to do that is to go to New York or get a lot of different New York style magazines yes. and then just, just kind of peruse them. And not only that, I knew at that point, the minute she said that it's high fashion, high fashion. runway. Yes. High fashion. So you want this model-esque, mm -hmm. can walk the catwalk mm -hmm. in a fabulous outfit. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. and so in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. I know what you want, and I have to find the right outfit. Right. And yeah, so then that it's, search began. So before, okay, the, I'm glad you put it <laughs> that way. <laughs> that was a search. The search began. <clears throat> How many outfits did it take before you recognized that that was the outfit, that this was the outfit? Five? Yeah. It was about That's five. That's about right. It was That's about, about five right. outfits That's I kept going right. back and forth. Yeah. I knew I had to wear this coat. Right. Like this coat is such a statement piece. Right. And I so I knew I had to wear the coat. Well the coat came with a really cute dress, mm -hmm. but it was inappropriate for the competition. Okay. So I was trying to get somebody either to remake the dress a little bit longer to right. a certain specs, mm -hmm. uh, and I just could not get a, you know, I couldn't Somebody, connect. Yeah. So I'm sitting there like, oh, okay, I gotta find something, I gotta find something, I gotta find something. Then I thought, maybe I'll just do a jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. So in my travels, and as I was, you know, looking for my gown and things like that, and every mm -hmm. time I would go out to the mall, I would just kind of browse and see what was out there. Mm -hmm. Went on Pinterest to look at some things. I knew I wanted something because I, I know the style right now mm -hmm. is short with long, mm -hmm. you know, long yeah. tail, yeah, something yeah, wavy, yeah. you know, right. just that big look. And so right. I said, okay, everybody's going to be like that. Mm -hmm. If I come like that and I know I can carry that, that look, mm -hmm. I need to make sure that I stand out. Mm -hmm. So again, the search began, so I knew I wanted this coat, and I kept thinking, I gotta find a dress, I gotta find a dress. I went into this one store looking for some earrings. Okay. And saw Long this. And behold, found the dress. And it was like, you know, the <laughs> sky over devil, the angels began to sing, and it was like, that's it! Yeah, that's and so when dress. I tried it on, mm -hmm. it was like, <gasps> It's perfect. And that was probably two weeks before I was due to leave. Oh, that was cutting it short. Cutting it, yeah, that, that was, was cutting, cutting it short. Close. Because this pageant took place September 2016. Yes. Just last week. Just last week. It hadn't been a week yet, as a matter of fact. Right, but your preparation began in 2015. 15. Yes, ma'am. So you, the first thing you did was you started to put your wardrobe together. Yes. So that was cutting it short. So from to that from September October 2015 mm -hmm. you began to put your wardrobe together so that it would be together by probably early spring yes I wanted I wanted together at least by June I okay. wanted to have everything, everything. set mm -hmm. but again you know as things was changing and 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 situations were changing and my mood was changing and my attitude was changing and my mm -hmm. body was changing mm -hmm. all this transition was taking place mm -hmm. and I just felt like you know this isn't it, it's not it, it's not quite it. I don't feel that mm, mm -hmm, with it. Mm -hmm. And so I just kept looking. Mm -hmm. And I just remember praying one day and I'm like, God, please, just let me come across whatever is missing. Mm -hmm. Just let me find it and let me find it quickly. Mm -hmm. And yeah, within mm -hmm. two days, I found this dress right here. And I just knew, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was a perfect dress. That was dress. a perfect dress. I knew it was. Wow. And it was so perfect. <laughs> Which one? I got fun fashion. <laughs> and won. I got the trophy with the go with this. Mm -hmm, and again, mm -hmm. I got the modeling contract. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, it worked. Mm -hmm. okay, it worked. Okay. And I'm very excited. And you know, <coughs> when again, when you're on that stage, it's not just a physical preparation. Right. But it's, it's so mental and emotional as well. Oh yeah. I took Absolutely. time out to really kind of get into my own zone and just mm -hmm. really quiet everything around me and mm -hmm. get one with myself and just you know get a peace in my spirit mm -hmm. and in my heart mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. do me right now we've both been around as I've said we've both been around this industry for a long long time yes. we've seen the highs and the lows we've seen the good the bad and the ugly yes. was there ugly at this pageant afterwards yes Mm. And it came, unfortunately, it came about on social media. 
Oh. And yeah, That's there was there was one who just didn't say some very nice things. Um, she didn't place, she didn't mm. do anything. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, sometimes you just, you really get to see the inside or the inner part of a person mm -hmm. when they don't win. Right, right. And I thought it was really unfortunate, although I knew it was gonna come. Right. I just didn't know who was gonna, who was gonna be the one that was gonna say it. Was and it, what was going to be said? Was it you got a hair right here? Mm -hmm. to fix it. Um, was it somebody that um, you expected or you didn't expect um, for it to come from that particular person? I was not surprised. You weren't. Surprised. I was not surprised because okay. this is somebody that probably expects to always win. Okay. You know, right. um, yeah. just because of their look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because they didn't, you know, mm -hmm. because this, you know, they go from pageant to pageant. It was one of those where the pageant hops. They pageant be, Patty. Yeah, pageant Patty. <laughs> right. That's what she is. Yeah. And unfortunately, okay. you know, because she didn't do well mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. didn't place and she didn't, you know, get anything, mm -hmm. she just, you know, wasn't very nice. And mm -hmm. I, I think the sad part about it is that she did it on social media, but what she doesn't realize is that pageantry is a very small industry. It is. And everybody talks. That's right. And because you immortalize your thoughts mm -hmm. on Facebook mm -hmm. and you put it in writing, now everybody has seen it. That includes judges, directors, other contestants. Absolutely. So you look so she really hurt herself. Right. Um, and you know, it um, it all boils down to when you start pointing the finger, you got three looking back at you. Yes. So don't be so judgmental. Yes. Yeah. And don't be upset that you didn't win. I mean, right. you know, it's mm -hmm. it just wasn't your time. Or she just, you know, a lot of times we, we call them, we do, you know, coin them as pageant patties because mm -hmm. that's all they do is jump around from one system to another right. and so forth. Uh, they expect that everything that 